Hello everyone and welcome to The Painting Paladin. My name is Justin and today we are going to be painting an orc. Now in different fantasy and sci-fi stories and games, orcs have been described a number of different ways. Some stories describe them as elves that have been corrupted by darkness. Other stories describe them as big hulking green monsters. However, the one I'm going to be working on today is perhaps my favorite version of an orc. It's a boar orc, otherwise known as bork. Now the bork that we're going to be working on today is one of the leaders of the army, appropriately named Character 1. This unit, as well as the rest of the army models, were designed to be used as orcs in the Kings of War 3rd edition rules. Now you can find this model, the rest of the army, and much more by checking out Ilhadil on Patreon or on my mini factory. So with that being said, let's head on over to our work desk and roast this pig, shall we? Alright, now before we begin, I undercoated this model with Xandry Dust Spray. Now the first color that we're going to be painting is Steel Legion Drab, and that's for all the exposed skin areas. So just take your time and work your way around the model. Okay, moving on, the next color that we're going to be using is Bad in Black. Now we're going to use this to paint his eyes, inside his nose, his hooves, and all the leather that's on the model. So we're going to paint the straps, the sword hilt, and things like that. Moving on, the next color that we're going to be using is Rhinox Hide, and that's to paint all the hair. All right, with that Rhinox hide applied, the next color that we're going to be using is Mechanicus Standard Gray, and that's to paint this model's pants. All right, with those pants painted up, we can move on to our next color, and that's going to be Lead Belcher. Now we're using this to paint all the metal parts on the model. So just take your time when applying this and be careful not to get any paint on any of the stuff you've previously painted.
the next color that we're going to be using is corn red. And we're going to use this to paint the inside of his mouth and tongue. Okay, so with that corn red dried, the next color that we're going to be using is Xandri Dust again. And we're going to use this just to touch up his tusks and teeth, as well as those small horns that are on his belt there. All right, real quick, I forgot to paint this stone earlier when we were painting his pants, so we're going to go back and paint that real quick. And the color we're using for this is Mechanicus Standard Gray. All right, with that stone now painted up, the next color that we're going to be using is Agrax Earthshade, and we're going to give the entire model a wash in this. So just take your time when applying it and watch for any pooling, but if you do get pools, just use the tip of your brush to soak them up. All right, with that shade dry, you can see it helped bring out a lot of detail in the model. However, it darkened it down quite a bit, so we're going to start building it back up. Now the first color that we're going to be using is Memphiston Red. Now we're going to be painting this on all the armor pieces, avoiding those deep recesses where the shade had settled, and also avoiding all the notches and dings in the armor. Now I'm going to be applying the paint a little bit differently than I usually do. Instead of just brushing it on like normal, I'm actually just going to dab the paint onto the armor there and leave it kind of sporadic so it's not uniform and cleanly painted. That way it gives it the look like an amateur orc had just painted the armor up wanting to make it look cool and red. With that done, we can move on to our next color, and that's going to be Steel Legion Drab again. Now we're just going to use this to brighten up all the skin areas, so just paint the raised areas, avoiding those deep recesses on all the skin. With that skin done, the next thing we're going to be painting is the hair. And the color we're using for this is Gorthor Brown. Now we're just going to be painting the raised areas, avoiding those deep recesses. So I'm going to apply it kind of like a dry brush.
The next color that we're going to be using is Ushabti Bone, and that's the paint, the tusks, teeth, and those small horns on his belt. Now we're just going to be painting this about three quarters of the way down and towards the end have a small jagged pattern so it has a somewhat smooth transition from that Zandri dust to the Ashabti bone. All right, so the next color that we're going to be using is Retributor Armor, and that's to paint his nose ring and earring. With that done, there's only one thing left to paint, and that's that stone that's on the base. Now we're going to be dry brushing this with the color Dawnstone. So just take your time and be careful not to get any on the rest of the stuff that you've already painted. Alright, with that done, this model is all finished up and ready to be based. Now as always, make sure to base this model the same way you did as the rest of the army, or whatever campaign setting you're using him in if you're using him for a role playing game. Alright, now that the model is all painted up and based, he is ready to lead the rest of his warband to pillage and burn unsuspecting settlements to the ground. Now a few things to remember when working on a model like this. The first is to plan your colors out ahead of time. That way you know what color you're going to use and where you're going to use it. The second is to write down all the colors that you used and keep it somewhere you won't lose. Now the reason you're doing this is because this model is only the first in the army and you're going to have to repeat painting this on numerous models so it's helpful to know what color you used. And lastly, as always, take your time to avoid making any mistakes. But if you make any mistakes, you can always go back to your previous colors and correct it. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments below and if you want to stay up to date with future videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks everyone.